To the dismay of his supporters, Shapur Bakhtiar, opponent to the Ayatollah's regime, was found dead on August 8, 1991. The last prime minister to the Shah had been stabbed to death at his home outside Paris two days earlier, along with his secretary. French police identified three suspects, Faridun Boyer Ahmadi, Ali Vakili Rad and Mohamed Azadi. Two weeks after the double murder, Vakili Rad was found in Geneva. His only disguise, a shaven mustache. His two accomplices had already escaped back to Tehran. Extradited to France, Vakili Rad was sentenced in 1994 to life in prison. During the trial, he admitted being sent by the Iranian government to kill Bakhtiar. But Tehran always denied the regime had a hand in the murder. For a while now, Mr. Bakhtiar has been politically irrelevant. He didn't present a threat to us. And it was not in our interest to have him killed. Bakhtiar had been a leading figure in the secular opposition to the Shah of Iran. The Shah made him prime minister in 1978 as a concession to the opposition who, like him, feared an Islamic revolution. But the revolution took place anyway in February 1979. Bakhtiar fled to France, where he had lived as a student. There, he founded the Iranian National Resistance Movement, a thorn in the side of the regime. His killer, Vakili Rad, served 16 years behind bars and became eligible for parole last year. The Iranian government has been demanding his return ever since.